Hello and welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about, well, the monthly range has ended, so now we're talking about specific Dr. Box sets. Now the specific Dr. Box set that we're looking at is The Lost Resort and other stories. There's three stories, but it's a fifth Doctor story, so what we're actually looking at is a four-parter and two two-parters. Now, the first one is The Lost Resort by A.K. Pendedict, and that one's four parts. So here's the, here's the synopsis. Reunited with his companions, the Doctor plans to travel home to Gallifrey, and they're cast aside when the TARDIS materialises on a small planetoid with an unusual temporal atmosphere, home to Welkin Sanatorium, seemingly an ideal place to recuperate. But the patients, like the sanatorium, are mere shadows of their former selves. Decay has taken hold, yet their secrets remain as strong and healthy as ever. Now, I'm a big fan of this story for many reasons. And if you look at the box, you look at the picture that's on the front of the box, you will clearly see a picture of Adric. Oh yeah. Now, not only are we dealing with that, but we're also dealing with, well, there's an extra character, someone who wasn't on TV, someone who's joined the TARDIS team in order to be, well, not Turlo. It's someone before Turlo, but before Nyssa leaves, and it's still Tegan. So there's a three people in the group. It allows you to split the narrative between uh, two pairs of people investigating, which means you can have the exciting tales and the usual nonsense that we come to know and love about Doctor Who. It's a ghost story. Well, no, it's not. It's spooky as hell. And if you want to call that a ghost story, feel free, because it works. That takes us up to, well, do I give spoilers? Well, I did see Adric was on the box. Should we leave it there? It's spooky as hell. It's very atmospheric and very, very odd. You can't really imagine how it would have looked on screen and not been a disappointment. But the fact that the visuals don't exist makes it just work. The second story in this box said that's The Perils of Nellie Bly by Sarah Ward. It's a two-part story, and yet when you're listening to it, it actually feels bigger. It's a historical story, and you know what? It works. The Fifth Doctor in a real-time setting just fits. When the TARDIS crew arrive on board the RMS Oceanic, they meet the notorious journalist Nellie Bly on the final leg of her voyage to travel around the world in less than 80 days. But with a saboteur on board, the Doctor and his friends must race to help Nellie reach her destination and save her future. It's a lovely bit of historical drama. It's not even fluff. A lot of people, like me, didn't really know who Nellie Bly was. And this is a lovely introduction. It just works. If it was a standalone adventure, it might be something you could skip over, but because this is in a box, and let's face it, who doesn't like a nice bit of adventure? It really does work. But then you've got the final two-part story. And let's face it, there's a lot of people out there who just buy releases that have got Daleks in. They do. It was the same when the DVD range was out. Nightmare of the Daleks by Martin Waits. Deep within a drilling rig, its crew has been suffering from nightmares, dreams of cold metallic creatures stalking them through the base, killing them as they sleep. Fortunately, the crew of the Daleks' own worst nightmare has just arrived, and he goes by the name of the Doctor. This again does not feel like a two-part story. It's a crackingly well-paced thing. And as far as I'm concerned, well, no, not necessarily the highlight of the box, because all three stories are very, very strong in their own individual ways. Everyone likes a Dalek story. The Daleks here are presented not new and afresh, but they have to confront something that they're frightened of. They're frightened of the Doctor. And that works really well here. I simply adore this box set. And yes, I think that this is kind of a continuation of the monthly range without saying so much. Let's face it, you've got the end of one major character. 
in a truly, truly heart-wrenching way. So if you've been following those characters, and if you haven't, I'm not going to give spoilers, but if you have been, then seriously, pay some attention to this story, because it's superb. And with that, I'll say farewell. In fact, I'll say, be seeing you, and see you next time. So, where to now, Doctor? Somewhere restful. I think we could all do with a break. From Big Finish Productions, Doctor Who, The Lost Resort, and other stories. I'd say we're standing under a lake, or a lagoon from the smell of it. Water? But it's floating in the air. Gravitational fluctuations in the atmosphere, Tegan. Not all planets are so dull as to keep their water at ground level. Death is an unwanted companion. You also know of grief. When you're my age, my dear, grief is stitched into living. It just depends how you wear it. Oh! No! No! There's no such thing as ghosts. Oh, Doctor. You're quite, quite wrong about that. My name's Nellie Bly. I am going to beat the world record set by Phileas Fogg, who traveled the world in 80 days. We're going to reach San Francisco soon, and all will be lost. Even the passengers will notice if I turn the ship around. There must be something you can do. Lower the sea anchor. Then Nellie Bly really will have something to complain about. I need someone to get me to my final destination. Not his greatest strength, to be honest. You are the Doctor! You are an enemy of the Daleks! You will be exterminated! Right, yes, should have expected that, but before you do, ask yourselves, what is the greatest enemy of the Daleks doing here? They killed a man, a father! That's what Daleks do. What? How can you say that? Get away from her, you murderer!